Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 25, BC Command. My name is Dan Washko. I'll be your host today. As always, I'd like to thank Hacker Public Radio for hosting the website and the audio file. So if you have not read the entry or have listened to the audio for this show, I suggest you do so after watching this video, as this video is merely the examples of using the commands talked about. Uh, again, Hacker Public Radio is a great community service put together by the community. Head on over there for some excellent topics and shows. And if you're interested in a topic yourself, consider putting together your own show. All right, let's get to talking about BC and uh, simple command from the simple mathematics from the command line. Uh, let's say you wanted to find a value out of or do a simple mathematics statement. Uh, you can use the echo command by putting the, the statement uh, in a dollar sign in two parentheses. So if I did four times three and hit enter, I'm going to get 12. Uh, again, echo 5 plus 2, and I'm going to get 7. I can use the expression command, 5 plus 2, and hit enter, and I'm going to get 7. Now, I can't do this, though. I can't. I have to put spaces in there at the expression command, or I just get 5 plus 2 echoed back to me. Uh, but one thing that neither one of these handle are decimals. So if I were to do echo 4 divided by 3, I get 1, or expr... 4 divided by 3, I get 1. That's not correct, okay? Uh, it's actually 1.3 with 3 repeating uh, to infinity. Um, but another thing I want to caution you about expression, 4 times 3 is not going to work. You actually have to escape the asterisk to get the value 12. All right, so how do we get decimals to actually work? Well, we could use the BC command. The BC command tool, actually it's a tool, uses uh, arbitrary precision language, mathematical arbitrary precision language, uh, in an interface here that allows you to enter in statements or equations or even full functions. So BC, uh, when you start it, goes into an interactive mode and it shows you the version and copyright information. You could type quit to get out of it and you can type the dash Q to put you in interactive mode quietly. So now, again, if I do 4 times 3, hit enter, I get 12, 5 plus 2, I get 7. If I do 4 divided by 3, I get 1. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on? I thought that I was going to do decimals. Well, it does. And that decimals are controlled by a special variable called scale. And when I hit type scale and hit enter, it gives me 0. Scale is the number of decimal digits available. And at this case, we only have zero, we have 0 decimal digits by default. So if I type in scale equals 3, now uh, if I do scale again, I get 3. So if I do 4 divided by 3, since I have 3 decimal digits, I get 1.333. That's the number of digits after the decimal point. I can also run BC with the dash L to load in the math library. And if I type in scale now, I get 20 decimal digits. So 4 divided by 3 shows me 1.3 with 23s uh, available to me. So that, that's pretty handy. Now, um, another nifty thing that I could do is uh, the length function right here. I could do 15 times 1, and that's going to tell me the length of the value, the length of the result right there. So if I were to do length of 15 or 4 divided by 3, it gives me 21. And so that's the total length of number of, of numbers. It doesn't include the decimal point. So you got 20. Uh, so if I did, were to do set scale to 10, and I were to do length of 4 divided by 3, it gives me 11. That's the value right there. So similarly, length of GTH 5 times 1 is going to return 1. There you go. That's some ways to use the, the BC command right there. Some variables. Another couple of values are last. So if I type in last, that returns 1. It's the last number that was put out. So uh, 7 times 8 plus 4 or 8 times 8 plus 4 gives me a value of 68. And if I type in last, I get 68. So if I were to do um, 4 divided by last, or last divided by 2, I should get 34.000. Now notice, because I have scale set, it's always giving me decimals now. So if I type in scale equals 0, 
and do last divided by 2, I got 17. That's because it does the last number divided by 2, which was 34, divided by, so now I don't have any decimals. So be aware of that. That's how that function works. Two other variables are O base and I base. So if I said O base, which is output base, equals 2, that's binary. And I do 15 times 1, the output is in binary. If I do O base equals 8, that's octal. And if I do 15 times 1, I get the value of 15 times 1 in octal. Uh, to set it back, I just do O base equals 10. So I can do um, O base equals 10, I base, which equals binary, and do 10101, and that gives me 21. I can do I base equals 8, and do one to C, 13C, and that, that doesn't give me anything. I forget my I base, my octal. Ah, what a fool. So if I were to do I base equals 2, O base equals 8, and I would do 101110, that gives me that value in octal. I base equals 16. I can do last, and that gives me last value right there, and I can do Oh, no, O base equals 16. Last, that gives me the value in hex. And then I can do O base equals 10. I can do last, and that gives me the value right there. Looks like that. Well, that's changing O base back and forth around and everything. So last, it's changing back. Uh, so let's quit out of here. So, you know, messing around with octals and how to change the base values right there. Something to, as you can do. We can define functions. So if I want to do a function, define Dan and just one variable right there. And let's see what we can do with it. Uh, we'll just do two. This will show you two to the x power. We'll do print. This is two to the power of and then to uh, x times 1 and then we'll do uh, 2x and then we'll do print well I, I don't have to put that all on one line I can do print like that and close this and then I should be able to do dan5 and it should, this is 2 to the power of 5 32 and then it returns to 0 because I'm not returning anything so if I do Dan 10, 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024, I do 0. If I do Dan 15, 2 to the power of 15, and then 32,768. So there you go. Uh, if I quit and then do ZBC again and try and do Dan of 2, it tells me that function's not available. So that that's BC in a nutshell right there. Just, there's a whole lot of different things we can do. Um, I talked about loading in the math library. So if I want to get a sign of a value, now I can do sign of 10. It gives me negative 0.5440. And you can see it right there yourself. So I got sine, cosine, uh, exponential function, e of 10 gives me that. So all that information, exponential and bezel, there's some links as to what that actually means uh, in the show notes. So there's some other functions that MathLib give you, aside from just setting the scale to 20, math library functions. So there you go. That is BC in a nutshell. Uh, another thing that I can do with BC, as opposed to getting into the interactive mode, is I can do uh, pipe it an echo command, 2 times 5 to BC, and I get that. I could do echo 4 divided by 3 to BC, and I get 1 again, but if I do this... Uh, scale equals 5 colon 4 divided by 3. I now get 1.333. All right, so there you go. And if I wanted to, I could do O base equals 2, 4 divided by 3, and I get a funky binary result right there. So how about that? That's uh, BC in a nutshell. Thanks for listening. My name's been Dan Washko. And this was Linux in a Shell episode 25, some simple mathematics and more advanced mathematics capabilities with the command line using BC.
Have a good day.